The Channel Island of Jersey is well known for its gorgeous beaches and sunny weather. So in this video, we're going to show you the very best of those beaches, starting here at Greve de Lec. Its golden sand, easy access and great facilities make Greve, as it's known by locals, the most popular beach on Jersey's north coast. The tide here never goes very far out, but the waves can be powerful, so lifeguards patrol here in the summer. There are two cafes in the bay as well as a kiosk on the beach. Public toilets are right on the beachfront and there's a large car park which rarely gets full. You can also arrive on the number 9 Liberty Bus. Archie Rondell is a small but perfectly formed pebble beach tucked away down a little lane in the northeastern corner of the island. The bay faces east, making it stunning at sunrise, and one of its most recognisable features is the Martello Tower. Originally built for artillery soldiers, it's been refurbished into holiday accommodation. Just off the beach is the Driftwood Cafe, and there's a small car park and toilets. Heading south around the coast, the next bay you come to is Anport. Another pebbly beach, popular early morning for those heading out into the water. At the southern end of the bay is a rock face known as Jeffrey's Leap, where legend has it criminals were executed by being thrown into the sea. There are public toilets at Amport, but there's very limited parking on the roadside and no cafe, which means it's often quiet. Officially named the Royal Bay of Grooville by Queen Victoria, this beach is more commonly known by locals as Long Beach. With Montorgueil Castle standing guard over the northern end, it runs down the east coast of Jersey alongside the Royal Jersey Golf Club. Easy access and shallow water make it great for swimming, although at low tide there's a long walk to the sea due to large tides and there's no lifeguard. In the summer, Gory Water Sports Centre provide boat rides and sports equipment. There's a big free car park with toilets and the area is served by several regular bus routes. At the western end of the south coast is Portlet Bay, with golden sand and clear, shallow waters, perfect for swimming and snorkeling. Portlet isn't easily accessible, but the adventurous are rewarded with amazing views. The most recognisable aspect of the bay is Janvrin's tomb, where a local sea captain whose ship returned carrying the plague is laid to rest. There are no public toilets here, but in the summer, Portlet Bay serves delicious wood-fired pizza and fresh fish specials right on the beach, and diners can use the facilities there. There's a public car park on top of the cliff, and visitors travelling by bus can catch the route 12A. Often mispronounced, Wayne A is a sheltered beach where you can swim safely, although there are no lifeguards. There's a large public car park and toilets, but unfortunately no direct bus access, and Kismet Cabana serves street food with live music in the summer. This area has historic links with smuggling, and the pub in the bay is called the Old Smugglers Inn. There's also a Martello Tower right in the middle of the bay. Joined to Wayne at low tide is the island's most recognisable and popular beach. St Brellard's Bay with its white sand, safe, clear waters and palm fringe promenade was voted in the top three best UK beaches on TripAdvisor. Its shallow waters make this beach the ideal place for swimming and water sports and lifeguards patrol here in the summer months. There's lots of options for food in the bay from the world's only Sea View Pizza Express to fine dining or a simple sandwich. There are a number of car parks and public toilets available along the bay. Bus routes 12A and 14 serve St Brellards and in the summer months, Liberty Bus also operates the Beach Bus. Beauport Bay is hidden just around the headland to the west of busy St Brellards, but once you're there, it feels like a whole world away. Getting there is an adventure in itself, down a steep pathway in steps from the small car park at the top, but the climb down and back up again afterwards is definitely worth it. A strip of golden sand backs onto a pebble bank and the area directly behind the beach is a nature reserve. The crystal clear water here is perfect for swimming and a popular spot for boats. There's no public transport to Beauport, no lifeguards on patrol, and there are no toilets or cafe here. But we think that all adds to the charm. St Juan's Bay is the longest beach in Jersey and spans almost the entire west coast. With miles of clean white sand, there's plenty of space for everyone. 
The rolling waves of the Atlantic Ocean make this the best spot for surfing in Jersey. And it even boasts one of the oldest surfing clubs in Europe. But visitors should beware of the strong rip here and only swim between the red and yellow flags showing the area supervised by lifeguards. There are loads of choices for food along this beach and pretty much all of them are good. There's also plenty of parking, although the car parks and roadsides are packed on a hot summer weekend. Bus route 22 goes to St. Juan and toilets can be found at several points along the bay. With its westerly aspect, St. Juan's is the place to be at sunset to relax and watch the sky turn golden over Corbier Lighthouse and La Rocco Tower. And finally, one of the island's most dramatic beaches. Plemont, in the northwest corner of the island, is shouldered by high cliffs which house Jersey's largest caves. The beach is entirely hidden by the sea at high tide, and there's only a small window to enjoy golden sand and clean, clear rock pools before the sea returns. It's accessed by a long staircase which starts at the beach cafe with spectacular views. Lifeguards patrol here in the summer. There's a small public car park and toilets beside the cafe, and a larger car park on the nearby cliff. Top. Plemont is on bus route number eight. We hope you enjoyed that whistle stop tour of some of the best beaches in Jersey. What do you think? Which one is your favourite? And did we miss any? If you think we did, make sure you comment below. Don't forget to subscribe so that you're notified next time we release a video, and we'll see you then.